In this video, I'm going to discuss creating static methods and static fields, also called class methods and class fields. So a static method is a method that belongs to a class and not a particular instance of the class or an object. And when you call a static method, it's usually done by the class name dot the method name. And also a static field is a field such as a variable that belongs to a class and not to an instance of the class. So, but all instances of the class share the same value for that field. So let's take a look at examples of static methods and static fields and how they relate to classes and objects. In this example we have a class called bank account that has one instance field called balance. And we have a getter and a setter method for the balance. So let's create a bank account object. I'm going to create a new class bank account demo. And this is going to have my main method in there. And here I can create bank accounts. Bank account A equals new bank account. And set the starting balance to 100 or 195 and 15 cents. And then we could create another bank account. Bank account B equals new bank account and set that balance to 245 cents. And then to print them out, system.out.println a.getBalance is the first account and b.getBalance will be the second account. First, print out a little dollar sign before it and we'll do that to the other one also, first and second. Run the program. Here's the two bank accounts, $195.15 and $200.45. Okay, great. Now watch what happens if I simply go back to my instance field and I'm going to redo this and, and stick the word static right there. And it's no longer an instance field at this point, it's now a static field. And by simply adding the word static in there, Watch how it affects my program. I don't have any syntax errors, but when I rerun this program now, both the first and second have the same amount. When you make a field static, it now belongs to every instances of the bank account class. Every single bank account object now has the same balance. If you change it for one, you change it for all of them. So you don't want to make a bank account static. and You don't want everybody's balances to get affected when you change one person's balance. Now it's back to an instance field. But we could add a static field that does make sense. Private static double interest rate. And let's just set that right here to, actually, you know what, let's just leave it alone. Let's create an interest rate static field. I'm also going to create a static method. Click static double get interest rate, return interest rate, and I'm going to make a static set method also, public static void set interest rate, pass in the double IR for interest rate, and set the interest rate to IR, and by Making these methods static, these are class methods, not instance methods. That means I can call these methods by the class name rather than by the object name. So let's go back in here and now let's run it and the accounts are back to normal because they're not static. But what I could do is specify the interest rate for all accounts by simply saying bank account dot set interest rate to 3.75. And then if I wanted to print out the interest rate for all bank account balances, I could simply say system.out.println interest rate is bank account. And notice that I'm calling them by the class name, not an object name, get interest rate. 
let's, let's add a percent sign there to the end, and it prints out. And if the bank decides to change the interest rate, they don't have to change it individually for each member of the bank. They can just change it once, and it affects everybody at the same time. So now everybody has the same interest rate.